Hi guys, welcome to the healthcare channel. Today's video we'll talk about symptoms and simple solutions for allergy. Constant sneezing in public can cause you to receive dirty looks from people around you because they think that you will make them sick. However, they don't realize that you are sneezing due to allergies, which aren't contagious. Learn how to manage your symptoms by reading the advice in this advice. Use a once a day allergy medicine to relieve your allergy symptoms before you experience them. You can take one pill in the morning and you will not feel the effects of your allergies all day long. There are several different brands available, mostly over the counter, so find one that works for you. Monitor pollen forecasts and plan accordingly. If you have access to the internet, many of the popular weather forecasting sites have a section dedicated to allergy forecasts, including air quality and pollen counts. On days when the count is going to be high, keep your windows closed and limit your time outdoors. People who suffer from allergies quite often have dry, irritated nasal passages prone to redness, itchiness, and bloody noses. To keep these airways moist, use a spray of saline solution in each nostril several times per day, then apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly inside the nostrils to keep moisture in. Make sure you ventilate your bathroom thoroughly, so mold doesn't build. This sort of allergen likes an environment that is warm and damp. Hang your washcloths and towels on your towel rack or over the shower curtain rod. Be sure to have a fan going after you shower. If you do not have a fan, crack a window to allow fresh air to circulate. Wash your bed sheets at least once a week. This will help eliminate any allergy triggers that you may come across, like pollen. It will help if you use hot water when washing your sheets to destroy any pollen that has been collected. This will help you breathe easier at night. If you're exercising when pollen levels are high, try doing it in the late evening or early morning. Pollen counts are lower in the morning and in the late evening. If allergies are causing your nose to drip constantly, you might experience chafing, redness, and soreness around your nostrils. Using paper tissues to stop drips can make this condition even worse. Instead, discreetly dab at your nose with a cotton cloth or handkerchief or apply Vaseline to your nostrils to protect your skin. Get an allergy test. Knowing exactly what you are allergic to can be the single most significant advantage you can have in dealing with allergies. Not all pollen is the same. Some people are triggered by tree pollen, others by grass or weeds. What you thought was an allergy to pet dander, may be an allergy caused by undiagnosed dust mite or mold problems in your home. Only an allergy test can provide you with definitive evidence of your triggers wearing one outdoors on high pollen count days can spare you some discomfort with allergy symptoms. Masks are incredibly cheap and can be purchased from home improvement centers or medical supply stores. Alternately, cover your nose and mouth with a bandana. If you are someone who suffers from constant allergy attacks, you may be feeling helpless. The best thing that you can do for yourself is to talk to a professional. They will be able to test you on for a variety of allergies and let you know which ones you suffer from. Just because you have pollen allergies, doesn't mean you have to live life without the beauty of flowers. Instead, learn which varieties are best, and use them to fill your flower beds and home. Avoid planting the most serious offenders, daisies, sunflowers, chrysanthemums, and dahlias. Instead, opt for gladiolus, periwinkles, and begonias. If you find that your allergies are always causing a similar set of symptoms, try treating those individual symptoms. This can often be more effective and easier than removing all of the allergens from your environment. For instance, if a runny nose is the main symptom of your allergies, you should always have tissues with you. If you often sneeze, treat that symptom with an antihistamine. Make sure you pick out an antiperspirant carefully. These products contain harsh ingredients that can trigger allergies, making your skin break out into a rash. Further, the chemicals can get into your pores, which makes the reaction even worse. These ingredients can be harmful to you and bad for your skin. If you like to go running, but you suffer from allergies, avoid windy days, and go for your run later in the day. Wind tends to cause pollen to fly around. The later hours of the day are when pollen is not as high as other times of the day. A good spring cleaning of your vents, basement, and crawl spaces will reduce the number of allergens in your environment. Over time these areas will accumulate a tremendous amount of allergens, which can be pushed into other areas of your home. With regular cleaning, this will keep the different areas of your home allergen-free. Consider taking an over-the-counter medicine to battle allergy problems. Medicine may clear up any allergy problems you have. 
Before choosing which medicine is right for you, consult your doctor to make sure it won't affect any medication you are currently taking. Your doctor may also recommend an allergy medicine to you. Outdoor allergies can make it difficult to enjoy the warm weather in spring. Everything is pollinating, making it impossible to avoid breathing pollen-laden air, so your best defense is probably medication. Several good over-the-counter medications are very effective. A few of them even last 24 hours so you can live a nearly normal life. Whether you suffer from allergies caused by foodstuffs, pet dander, pollen or bee stings, living with allergies can be tough. Avoiding triggers is an option for some people, but others can't help but breathe in the devices that may cause symptoms. Remember the advice in this advice so that you can stop suffering today. Allergies aren't always contagious, but they can be severe and genuine. Most people have no idea how to treat allergies until the symptoms become so severe that they interfere with their daily lives. Allergies are an overactive immune response to normally harmless substances. When you are allergic to a specific substance, your body mistakenly thinks that this substance is dangerous to your health. Substances that cause allergic reactions, such as some foods, dust, mold, animal pollen, or other drugs, are called allergens. It may take several days or even weeks for your body to clear up an allergic reaction. This is not the case with food allergies. Your body quickly responds to an allergy, and the problem soon disappears after you stop eating the allergen. Symptoms of allergies vary from person to person. Here are some common signs that you may be allergic to a specific food, and some simple solutions to allergies. Allergy symptoms can also include wheezing, difficulty breathing, nausea, headache, tightness in the chest, itchy eyes, fatigue, dizziness, and hives. These are just a few of the most common signs of allergies. You may also experience symptoms such as vomiting, stomach pain, and diarrhea. These may also occur with other allergies, but they are especially noticeable with food allergies. There are a variety of simple solutions to allergies. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to reduce your exposure to allergens and irritants. If you're currently allergic to an allergen, try changing your lifestyle so that you're less exposed to that allergen. Avoid being around people who may be allergic to an allergen, wear an allergy mask whenever possible, and stay out of situations where there's a chance that your allergies could flare up. Allergies may trigger some allergies. For example, people who suffer from hay fever may have allergies to molds, while someone suffering from asthma may be allergic to pollen. To treat a specific allergen, it may help to consult with a doctor to determine what the likely cause is. If you think that your allergies are related to food allergies, there are some simple solutions to allergies. You may want to avoid foods that contain these ingredients if you have a severe allergy. Food allergies can be severe, and the earlier you can determine the cause, the better. If you know that allergens trigger your allergies, you'll want to start treating them with simple solutions. You may want to eliminate the allergens in your home by washing your home and office regularly. You can buy an air cleaner that will help filter out these allergens. You can also get rid of these allergens by avoiding the foods that cause an allergic reaction. Some common food allergens include peanut butter, chocolate, eggs, fish, shellfish, onions, garlic, chocolate milk, and wheat. These foods can make an allergic reaction easier to tolerate. You can make a sandwich using substitution for each one of these items. The trick to removing these allergens is that you need to learn to eat more foods that contain those foods instead of the allergic ones. Even if you have some of the common foods mentioned above, you should still avoid allergenic foods. Menus can be eliminated from your diet or use allergy masks to keep them out of your house. If you are a dog lover, then you may find that this method works best for you. While there are no guarantees, home remedies can make a massive difference in helping you treat your allergies. You can try changing your pillow cover, keeping your carpet clean, or putting on an allergy mask, or taking a cold shower or bath before going to sleep. Allergies can cause you lots of problems if they are not treated early enough. If you notice any of these signs, you may want to visit your doctor. They will tell you how to cure your allergies and help you prevent them in the future. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle, and other helpful information to form life easier.